Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, I just thought I'd give you a quick sort of fleet overview. Um, I feel like life's been pretty crazy the last few months, so it's been interesting. Um, and just keeping you guys updated has been sort of not a priority, but I thought we'd just take the time today to give you a full update on all of the cars on the channel. So obviously we'll start with the Volvo, um, still very much um, the car of the channel. Uh, this thing is now on about 130,000 miles. I think I've just ticked over towards, there we go, yeah. 130,391, so that's just finished its braking period. Um, and that was serviced just before the summer, so it's not due another service for about six or seven thousand miles now this is still doing two three hundred miles a week um it's used as an everyday workhorse daily driver that sort of thing um does all sorts of stuff tows stuff um just a brilliant workhorse that we haven't been able to really find a decent replacement for hence why i haven't sold it yet um or got rid of it um it's been reliable it's been fantastic dog loves it in the back um it's the car we take to go out to dinner it's just the car that we just we just use it's 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 the family car um just because of its size and sort of practicality and that sort of thing um you really really can't beat it i love this thing um it's just so comfortable everyone loves it and everyone who goes in it says they love it as well um now i don't do as much miles in it as i did mrs dl does um a fair chunk now um and that's because i now drive the van to work since i changed jobs um i drive the van to surrey and stay in it um once a week so that is well used and i'm glad it is because the last thing you want is for modern vehicles to be sat um, doing nothing so this thing is um, racking up the miles on 168,000 miles now um, again just finished its braking in period uh, those you know sprinters know what I mean by that and that is due a service soon in the next sort of thousand miles so um, next couple of weeks I'll service that it's doing around four or five hundred miles a week um, at the moment, so it's being very well used, lovely and comfy inside, um, and a really, really useful thing to have, as it turns out. Um, I love driving it as well, it's lovely and comfy, um, can't beat it. And, you know, I was going to stick Michelin's on it, I've been waiting, but um, these things, these tyres on it at the moment are brand new, um, summertime, it's not really worth changing them out for all seasons so i'm not going to bother yet and to be honest i'll probably just start using the volvo again for if i need to in, in sort of inclement weather so um yeah that's doing really really well running like a top um no issues whatsoever touch wood <laughs> as i say same with the volvo you never know do you but um yeah this one is doing really really well Next up then is our Smart, as you can see it's just been abandoned here, um, but um, this thing is running really, really well. Uh, the only issue with it is that uh, it doesn't start, you have to push start it. Um, nevertheless, Mrs DL and I probably do between uh, 50 to 100 miles in it a week. It's really handy uh, just for popping out to places and as long as you park where you've got room to push it, then uh, it's not really an issue at all. Now. Again, we love this car. We don't think we're going to get rid of it. Um, it's not really worth anything, so we bought it as a bit of a joke. But it runs well, and it costs pretty much nothing to run. Insurance and tax and everything is minimal. Um, so it's worth keeping in our book. And dog fits in the back of it, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, it is booked in to have the new starter motor done. And that's going to be done at the end of August. So it will be a fully functioning car again, uh, for now anyway, uh, which will be nice. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just sort of stolen our hearts, really. Um, it's, it's surprisingly practical inside, what we need it for. Um, with the heated seats and everything, it's nice. Um, as you can see, it's got the dog bed in the back. It's just, yeah, a very, very good little runaround. And once, once the starter motor is done, um, it will be even better. Now, I was going to do the starter motor myself, but to be honest, I just didn't have time. Um, it's a sort of 
with a rear engine smart so you have to drop the engine down it's just quite involved so um it didn't cost me much more um to get a specialist to do it than if i was to do it so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to take it to smart technic in birmingham drive it up there and they will have it done on the same day as i drop it off so um going to be a much more pleasant way of doing things i think but uh, yeah this thing again is here to stay now our fourth and final vehicle is our jeep wrangler here and uh, this is a bit of a sad state of affairs at the moment it's still not running it's been two months today actually that it uh, broke down um we still can't find the issue i think it's probably an input shaft on the uh, transfer case i need to take the transfer case out but i can't really do it here um, so it's going to be recovered to a friend's unit where we're going to do that and test that out but um, yeah just a bit of a shame because we do love this thing but um, it's becoming increasingly difficult to justify keeping it um, and it's just sitting here as well you know just little bits of rust are coming in and it'll be fine once it's all touched up but it's just just looks a bit sad doesn't it um, until now it had been exceptionally reliable uh, we hadn't had any issues with it at all um, i think the only thing i had was um i had to change the universal joint on the front drive shaft and a brake line that's it and between those two i think it cost less than 50 quid but at 700 pounds a year to tax and 20 miles per gallon um it's a difficult thing to justify having when we've got so many other cars as well and it's quite a bit of money to have tied up um just sat here so um I think once this is fixed, it will be going up for sale. Um, so if any of you guys are interested, message me or, you know, comment below. Um, but yeah, as you can see, she's an absolute beauty. Um, and it will be a very, very sad day to see it go. But, um, you know, we might be able to buy other stuff with the money for it. So um, <laughs> that's, I reckon we can get a couple of cars for the price we could sell this for. So um, that's my plan anyway. I haven't told Mrs. DL, but, um, yeah that will soon be going which will be a shame and i think we'll be, we'll be sorely missed but at the same time um we've had it we've done it and we can always buy another one if we ever need to so um yeah that is that but um that's just a general fleet overview um thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know your thoughts um i bet you're probably not very surprised <laughs> there's not much been going on i mean this has been serviced recently did a video on that the Smart and the Volvo have all been serviced recently. The only thing that will be coming up will be the van in terms of the oil changes. Uh, we've got other things planned for the Volvo as well, so um, stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.